What's going on YouTube? This is over Spidey Spider Tumblr's coming back at you with another Box Heroes unboxing. So I have received my two box heroes for the month of November. I I do have three subscriptions. The other one I opened up uh, a couple weeks ago, or I want to say a couple weeks ago, but maybe a couple days ago, maybe a week ago. But I got the remaining two in. So this would be for the month of November. So let's go ahead and open these up and kind of see what we got. Alright, so of course, like always, it's the same skew. Box Heroes for me is a good way for me to get some of these newer books that I don't go get at the LCS. And let's just be honest, I really don't go to the LCS. So, good way to get a mixture of new books and sometimes you get a couple older books in there. You don't get a lot of the uh, the variants that are, are aimed towards the box. So you don't like get this box hero variant or, you know, I, I think you guys know where I'm going with that. Um, so a lot of times it's uh, variants for the people that are doing the box. So you'll get a lot of their variants in their boxes. So box heroes to me is another way to get stuff that I wouldn't normally go pick up. Um... So it gives me an idea of what kind of new books are out there. But like always, they have their box heroes card. I just threw that over there. They add some comic cards. So you got Sabretooth. You got Ant-Man and the Wasp stickers. And you have a Star Wars sticker. So I also don't have the monthly subscriber. So I do get the monthly subscriber bonus book. So all three of my books are monthly subscribers, so I tend to get the subscriber bonus books on every one of them. The nice thing about the last box that I opened, they had two monthly subscriber bonus books in there, so that was a little different. Uh, I'm going to do this. Okay, so this must be the book. And it looks like they have the Oktoberfest books in here again. So it must be the same, the Hawkeye, the Miles Morales, and, and Star Wars, I believe. But we'll get to that here soon. So the first book is going to be the Tyler Kirkham variant. So that looks like a little DC action with Red Hood on the cover. We have Task Force Z, number one. And this is, obviously, uh, Red Hood on the cover. It looks like you got some of the deceased action going or the zombie action going there. So this is a Ty Tyler Kirkham variant. Let me see. I'm going to try to hold them in front of me. That way I can give you guys a better look at the book sometimes. A lot of times I like to do it like this. I'd rather see if I can get away with doing something like this. So that you guys can see the book. So next book we have. And it's nice to always see the information in the back. Because then you'll get something like this that I have no information whatsoever on the back. So we have a Moon Knight. Looks like number four. A real nice cover there. Moonlight is coming to the MCU. Well, it, it, Moonlight is coming. So whether it's the uh, Disney Plus, but it's the MCU. So Moonlight is coming. So there we go. We have a little Moonlight number four. Next off, we have a Miko Suyan Punchline Connecting Variant. So that's going to be the Joker number nine and punchline action on the cover. Next off we have, I think she's became everybody's least favorite now. So we got a little Peach Momoko variant. So it looks like we have some Eternals. So we have Eternals number seven, Peach Momoko variant, Annals cover. Not too bad, but typical peach style. Next, we have Todd McFarlane variant. So it looks like we have some Gunslinger Spawn. I've been wrong before, so let's go ahead and Gunslinger Spawn number one. So McFarlane variant, real nice cover there. Like I said, hopefully I'm showing you guys the book. And not like half the book. So next doesn't have anything on it. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five books. One, two, three, 
four, five left, plus the freebies. So I'm just making sure they didn't accidentally send two extra books. So another one we have, looks like some X-Men action there. So we have X-Men, well, the new X-Men 37, Quest for Magic. All right, so it looks like we're getting into the fillers. So next book here we have, looks like a Spider-Man book. So we have Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, Spider-Man Unmasked, number 11. So it looks like he's got the little Iron Spider, Mysterio, and then he's getting ready to throw in into a meat grinder. Midtown High, high Cafeteria Menu, today's special, Mystery Meat. So there we go, getting ready to throw them in there. Getting ready to give some mystery meat out. So there we go. Next book we have. Looks like some more Spider-Man Unmasked. So let's go ahead and let you guys see that for a little bit. Then we got Spider-Man. The Sensational Spider-Man. Number 32. So there's a little Mary Jane riding on Spider-Man's back. Looks like they're on top of a building somewhere. But... There we go. Sensational Spider-Man. Alright, next, before I get to the little freebie books. Looks like we have a lenticular cover. So, Superman, Wonder Woman. Uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, Futures, the new 52 Futures and number one, lenticular. All right, so here we are gonna have the Oktoberfest books. First book, oh, okay, well, then I lied. So it just says a free book. So this is Wonder Woman, or Wonder Woman Day, special edition number one, free book, features the first chapter of the Wonder Woman, the Lies chapter novel, or graphic novel. So there we go. It is a freebie. So next book we have, I had to look at it real quick before. I guess these aren't going to be the Halloween ones. So we have Lori Halsey Anderson. Number one, Wonder Woman Tempest Tossed Wonder Woman Day. So this is like Wonder Woman Day special editions. Um, I don't know what Wonder Woman Day is, but here we go. More free books. Next, we are going to have Diana Princess. Of the Amazons. This is another Wonder Woman Day. So I guess it was Wonder Woman Day. There we go. So they uh, threw in a good amount. There's three, four, five, about six books. So of course, now we're getting to the Oktoberfest. Star Wars High Republic. And this is the number one. This is the Halloween comic book extravaganza. All right, so now we have Hawkeye, number one, again, the Halloween comic book extravaganza. You guys seen the other box? They had all the Halloween ones in there and not the Wonder Woman day. So I guess it depends on when they boxed them because I did get that one very early. So here we have the Daredevil, Road to Devil's Reign. Again, the October extravaganza. And also a number one. So last but not least, we didn't get a Scotty Young variant like we normally do. So now we have an In Hulk Lee 1 in 25 variant subscriber bonus book. All right, so it looks like we got some Eternals. So apparently Eternals is the, the hottest thing out there due to the movie. So we have Eternals number one, and this is a 1 in 25 variant. So always a good thing. Was not a Scotty Young this time, but it was a one in 25. So not too bad. Again, you guys are more than welcome to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. But let's go ahead and move on to box number two. I feel that one did pretty good. Uh, a little bit of different stuff there. 
Really like the Todd McFarlane, the, the Gunslinger Spawn. Really was feeling that Eternals, the 1 in 25. Uh, the free books are always good to get. So let's go ahead and see what we get in this box. So as always, we have their Boxed Heroes card. We have a card, which is going to be from the X-Men Series 2 animated TV series. And this is going to be the Sentinels. The Sentinel Strikes. We have some more Star Wars, which you get R2-D2. And you have an Avengers. Alright, so again, I will have a subscriber bonus book in this. I do see the freebie books already. And let's flip this guy over. Alright, so, like I said earlier, the first book is going to be everybody's least favorite artist. Or is becoming everybody's least favorite. So we got a Peach Momoko variant. So, a little bit of Star Wars, it looks like. So, we have Star Wars High Republic, number 11, and it's a Peach Momoko cover. Alright, let me try to move these free ones over a little bit. Next off, we have a Francesco Mattina variant. Uh, we're doing pretty good, and then all of a sudden now, I wonder if that's... Let me try something real quick. Okay, so these aren't... Because I guess I had it at an angle. So let's try this at an angle. This sucker is so glossy. So it looks like we have some Batman. So we have DC versus Vampires, number one. Ah, so we got Batman as a vampire. Vampire teeth. Real glossy cover. This one I may have to kind of show off like this. There we go. A Matina variant. So far, so good. So we got a Muhammad Asharar variant. So again, some more Eternals. Looks like Eternals number one. And that is going to be a Muhammad Asharar variant. All right, next we got some John Romita Jr. variant of some... Venom. So we have Venom number one. And that is going to be a John Romita Jr. And I'm not really feeling this Venom. Um, but that is just my opinion. Um, but here we are. Now we looks like we're going to have the fillers. There's no information on the back of this. So, Future's End, Batman. I'm not sure it's really Future's End or not, but Fear State, Batman, number 117. I was trying to read from a distance and I couldn't see that. So, here we are, Fear State, Batman, number 117. Next off, we have a, there we go, more like this. We have some Lady Death. It looks like the lingerie, number one. I've noticed that they are starting to put a little bit of Lady Death and Vampirillas in these boxes now. So, for me, that's a good thing. Next, we have the zombies that ate the world. <laughs> I have no idea. So, this is issue one of eight. Good thing for me. It's a uh, number one issue. So, I always tend to like to grab the number one. So, there we go. The zombies that ate the world. Next book, we have a, the new Avengers. Looks like we got Magneto on the cover there. Reflecting Iron Man, Captain America, and Wolverine. So that's number 20. There we go. Not too bad of a cover. Next, we have the, let me show that to you guys a little bit, and then I'll try to figure it out. So we have Action Comics number 843, Superman to Aliens will smack you up. <laughs> so, looks like just a newspaper article. 
All right, looks like we have the free. Looks like it's gonna be the Wonder Woman day. So there we go, more Wonder Woman day. So apparently, obviously I'm gonna have some doubled up stuff. There we go. These can go a little quicker because we've already seen this. Now we got the October extravaganzas. Okay. And Daredevil? Yep. Alright, so this one just says subscriber bonus book. Does not tell me who it is. Does not tell me anything else but a subscriber bonus book. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Ooh, we got the House of Slaughter. Number one. We have From the World of Something is Killing the Children. So right now, from what I hear, hot book. So this is my subscriber bonus book. And if you guys can do me a favor, leave a comment down below. I really don't feel like cutting this open to see if I can tell if it's the first print, second print, third print, 100 print, or so forth. But I think it is going to be a first print, maybe. So that is going to do it for my Box Heroes unboxing. I think I did pretty good. I really was feeling this box this time. So... Box Heroes, you earned my subscription yet for another month. So hopefully December comes out good. No winners in these pulls, but hey, I've won a big book and a smaller book, so not too bad. So Box Heroes, again, you still got my subscription for the following month. Hopefully we get some, some nice books in that one as well. But if you guys can all do me a favor, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about box heroes some people have now canceled them some people are keeping them some people are crossing fingers for great books uh tell me what you feel about the book how you feel about the books i know peach momoko is starting to kind of go and you do get a lot of peach momoko in these things uh scotty young i didn't see a single scotty young variant in there we were getting a lot of that for a while uh, but it's a good little mixture i was enjoying it i enjoy the fact that they are throwing in some of these free books for the fact that i don't tend to go get them so now I have uh, plenty of them now. But if you guys can all do me another favor, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already subscribed. And please hit the little notification bell so that you guys can get notified with any upcoming video that I throw out in the future. But like always, everybody, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I shall see you guys on the next one.